Back in fitness culture, second session of the day. Hit our chest earlier this morning. We have five exercises, so tonight we're back in for the rest of our push day, which is gonna include anterior delt, we got some lateral raises, and then we also have triceps. So tonight, we're gonna be supersetting things. We're gonna be doing things like five sets of eight on the tricep extensions. So we're gonna jump right into it right now. We just warmed up. Coming back for this second session doesn't mean intensity is lacking. We're not gonna be going through the motions. Get your partner, get after it. Second session of the day. We're only doing this for 30 days though, and then again, we take a deliberate week off. So we're gonna jump into it right this very minute. All right guys, so on this first two exercises, we're gonna be supersetting skull crushers with a lateral raise here. I always like to think basically strings on your elbows and that's what's pulling up here. Boom, coming up here. That'll try to take less trap, less trap involvement and think more using your shoulders to pull that weight up right there. With the skull crushers, we're gonna be going down to the bench or you can just go to the crown of your head. Let's just jump in. a big guy set only no no more access sorry you gotta be able to do 155 jacks max bench press or jacko okay I'm talking he's not even here that's not cool you guys will notice i don't bring the weights in front of my body that's going to require me to lean forward and keep the weights to the side and go from there a lot less momentum in that we're really focusing on using less swing. Five sets of eight on the tricep extensions on the skull crushers, and then we got five sets of 12 on the lateral raise. Not gonna find us doing any real pressing, shoulder pressing today. We did four compound movements for chest earlier, so we're doing a lot more isolation work today for the shoulders. Obviously triceps, let's consider this, even though it's not quite a compound movement, it's about as the, the heaviest, most compound we're gonna be doing on triceps. Next, super set. 12 bench dips here, straight into bus drivers where we got 10. A Little bit higher volume, coming back, just getting, you know, you might feel a little tired in the chest, a little tired in the anterior delts. We're not doing much pushing here, just getting a sick tricep pump and uh, definitely working the deltoids a little bit more. Bus drivers are uh, another one that I'd never done before I met Jake. Good anterior delt move. We're gonna be doing is raising up, twist, twist. So we're here, backs not rounded, right here, up. Last superset, getting back to our medial head, cable, side lateral raise. We got superset with good old cable tricep press down. Again, we're right at now at about, between this morning and now, right at about 90 minutes, a little bit more actually. So long workouts, you might feel each and every day you get done, body is, is it's tired. That's why it's super important that we are refueling. You get done here, get a meal, get a shake, whatever you need to make sure you're hitting your caloric surplus. If you're not doing that, these workouts are gonna run you into the ground. We're not tired. So just to hammer home what Steve said today, I've been really taking care of myself. I've had two cups of coffee, two pre-workouts, two egg bites, and one Mobetta's meal today. If you guys don't know what Mobetta's is, you're missing out. You can live off Mobetta's alone if you needed to. <laughs> more calories than most people have, probably. Definitely more protein than most people have in a day. Ah. Oh. 
Best thing about Mobetas, this is turning into an ad for Mobetas, but it, it sprung out of Polynesian Hawaiian culture. Hey, doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, you like to eat if you're poly. So they take that mentality and they give you a good portion. Shout out to them. If you get tired of me wanting Chipotle, when they give you like a half scoop, and you're like, ah. That doesn't happen to Mobetas. Every day, they weigh every piece of steak that goes on the meal. And here's the, can't beat that. If you do go to Chipotle and do order double meat, double protein, never order it up front. Let them give you the original scoop and then say, can I get double protein? Because you know they always short you if you say double. But if you say double after their first scoop, they gotta give you a double. Yeah. I thought I invented that, but I guess not. Done and dusted. Push day. I feel like it's been a long time since I got done with a workout, a push workout. I felt like even my central nervous system is a little bit like, damn, I'm feeling it. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Don't do like Jake did and uh, under eat, over caffeinate. That'll, that'll leave you fried on this program. So tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm gonna see him in the morning. I'm asking what he had to eat for breakfast. And you better say, a cup of oatmeal, blueberries, three egg whites, or no, 10 egg whites, and two whole eggs. That's breakfast. We can do Mo Betas, Mo Betas for lunch. So again, this design, so let's, see, let's see what I'm wearing. We weighed myself this morning. I was 206, we'll take off the shoes. Come on, Mo Betas. Come on, Mo Betas. 209. So that's what that's what that's what your weight can do in a day. Jumped up, jumped up three pounds. So now the, the goal is tomorrow when I come in, not to be 206 even, maybe be like 206.3. We'll see you guys. You guys can always check out the link for all fitness culture stuff. What do you got, Jake? 